Melissa Sardelli, and here's a look at the stories trending on WPRI.com today, Wednesday, January 11, 2012. Seven students from St. Mary's Elementary School in Cranston are now resting at home after being rushed to the hospital this morning. The students had been taking part in a rosary ceremony in the basement of the church on Cranston Street when some, some of them started getting dizzy. One boy fainted. Officials say they were experiencing signs of carbon monoxide poisoning, and all more than a dozen students were treated. A Pawtucket man has been sentenced to 20 years in prison for leaving his infant son disabled and blind. 19-year-old DeAnthony Allen was found guilty in November of abusing his three-and-a-half-month-old baby boy, Janelle Marks. The infant suffered severe head trauma, a skull fracture, and seven rib fractures. Doctors say the boy is clinically blind, will probably never walk, has seizures, and his brain cells continue to deteriorate. A car crashes right into the water, and tonight police are trying to figure out how it got there. Eyewitness News in Cranston. That's where the driver of a car was able to jump out of the vehicle before it crashed into the water near St. Anne's Cemetery. Police tell us the driver was not injured. Child abuse charges have been filed against a Providence man. He's accused of shooting his girlfriend's baby with a BB gun inside a Madison Street home. Police tell us 23-year-old Jose Luciano shot the infant after an argument with the woman last month. The baby was treated for a broken vertebrae and several welts. Luciano is due back in court in March. And for all of your up-to-the-minute online news and weather, stay with WPRI.com. Thanks for watching.